Hey YouTube, this is Redline251. Today I have a very special special review. It's the St. Croix Bank Robber Streamer Rod. And uh this will be a YouTube first since I cannot find any other reviews on YouTube at this time, so I got this two days ago. It's a four piece, seven weight. This rod retails at $430. So it is a pretty expensive rod, but nothing compared to things like the Sage Z axis. Which I think is 600 and the uh, Sage 1. So, starting with the end of the rod, just this end is the flimsiest part of the rod, as most people know. But it's um, special in this rod because the second piece to the top, and these two are both flimsy. But then this one's about a medium and this one's just stiff. So that makes it so that you can cast farther and more accurate. The bank robber has um, a small fighting butt on, I think it does have one on all the models. Because they only make it in a 5, a 6, and a 7 I believe. Um, but it has this really nice aluminum uh, reel seat with the hook keeper in it. That's the hook keeper. There's three of them. But it has a very high grade cork. <laughs> um, moving up, it says there's the St. Croix logo and there's the bank robber logo. So, this rod is handmade, as all of the St. Croix rods are, and one of the features that only St. Croix and Echo that I know of do is, see on this piece of the rod, there's a dot right there. On this piece, there's a dot right there. So all you do is when you're connecting the rods, you just line up the dots and you don't even have to look down your rod. Well, since I'm dealing with this second piece right now, I'll tell you about these eyelets that are special. As you can see, they're kind of slanted forward. And that's for a better line load and a better casting. And usually a rod would only have one eye. But this rod has two. So that will make it throw the line even farther. And even the eyelets like this are special. They're made with like carbon reinforcement or something like that. But if you step on it, it'll spring back in place automatically. Even if it's kinked, it'll spring right back in place. Now this rod has a special resin they used in the making of the blank and that makes this rod 30% lighter and one of the strongest rods on the market I'll say but um it has a power grip that fits in your hand it feels really good in your hand and uh, I've looked at some reviews of this on like the internet off of like cabelas.com and stuff like that. And they say that this rod is an arm cannon. I haven't casted it yet, but <laughs> I think it's going to be a pretty good caster. The reel I selected to go with this is a uh, Akuma SLV with a 
Rio Gold line. And I have another spool with a sinking line, but I'll just show you what it looks like with reel on here. I reel right handed, so. I'm not gonna tighten it real down, but as you can see, it looks pretty good with a silver reel. I like this reel a lot. But I'm gonna hopefully film me and my dad and some of his friends and my grandpa going up to Henry's Lake in Idaho. And we're gonna, I'm gonna be fishing with this rod, and I'll probably put on YouTube so in maybe three or four weeks I'll have that video up so this is St. Croix Bank Robber thanks for watching subscribe and see you later guys